Huge shout out to all of my patrons, new and old, and my fine tool partners. A plywood dining table? Hmm. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew Short. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today I got something a little special for you guys, and it's a modern dining table with compound angle cuts, 45 degree miters, and it's all made out of plywood with a little bit of hardwood edge banding. So if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Please subscribe to the channel if you like build videos like this or SketchUp tutorials. I post something each and every Wednesday. And hit the bell notification. You don't want to miss anything whenever I post it. So let's grab the brand new tool I had to purchase for this project, the Fest Tool Tracksaw, and let's get started. So the top of this table is going to consist of two sheets of three quarter inch plywood to make an inch and a half thick. So it's going to take a lot of glue and uh, a lot of elbow grease to get it uh, positioned just right. But these pieces are oversized so they will get cut to size later. With the hard part done on the track saw, I'm gonna take a minute and watch some John Malecki make some epoxy chisels. <laughs> Base is just a couple of pieces of plywood that are both the same size, and I have glued them together. So now they're an inch and a half thick. Uh, so now I gotta let that sit and dry. <laughs> okay, so I ran into a little bit of a snag. <laughs> I got the top cut and the client called and said that they don't want it this long so luckily i haven't edge banded this thing yet so i've got to cut it down about four inches so i've got the track saw set up going to rip off about four inches and then edge band it after there will be no more changes after that <laughs> but i also got another problem over here so this is on my plywood this is an extra sheet of plywood okay to edge band I need that eight quarter maple. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you put crap in your way? <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta get this out so I can plane it down and get some edge banding cut. <sighs> My wife is working from home. She's on a conference call right now. She told me to be quiet for a little while. So I'm gonna put these earmuffs on so I can't hear my saw and it'll make it quieter. I think that'll work. I noticed that this thing was kicking up a lot of dust while I was doing that. Come to find out my dust collector's full. <laughs> Much better. Ugh. Crap. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll just knock something over. <laughs> Part. 
you guys have ever worked with 13 ply plywood, ugh, you would feel my pain right now because this stuff is heavy. <laughs> I think I need to go change my shorts. That's a good place for it. <laughs> you know, as I struggle with all the stuff that I'm trying to move around in this shop, I'm sitting here with John Malecki's shop uh, tour in the background, and it's making me really, really jealous. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Pause for you. Okay. So I've got the maple on my straight cutting uh, jig, which is basically a joining jig for pieces that are a little bit too big or long for a standard jointer. Any of you ever had your blade maxed out like that with a 24 tooth blade on it? That's, this sucker's scary. <laughs> I just cut a couple of brackets that are going to fill the space between the um, sides of this pedestal and I cut them to fit the angles so uh, once they are adhered in place it will keep these miters from splitting apart. I cut a locator block using some existing scrap plywood from the cutoffs and that will be mounted to the underside of the tabletop so whenever you go to take this thing apart and you want to put it back on, this will help locate it in just the right spot so you can run the screws in from the side and everything will be all one piece again. So I hope you guys liked that build video. It was certainly interesting to make a modern dining table completely out of plywood, not to mention all of the compound angle cuts that had to come out nice, square, and together where there was no gaps. It was very, very interesting. So uh, that was super fun to do. Maybe I can make another one in the future. 
If you guys want to check out any of my prior build videos or SketchUp tutorials, like I post things each and every week, you can check them out right over there. Click that subscribe circle that you see in the exact center of the screen as well. And I guess I will talk to you guys on the next episode. Boom!